something there that's probably going to sell for around 33k where the list price is ballpark 35. We have the freshly discontinued chocolate dial. This is a 116515. Today I've got the Amiga Speedmaster 57. Purchased a Patek Aquanaut, the orange. Two options with it. We can buy it outright for 4,000. Fresh trim, fresh deal of the week. Felt like the watch is a little bit too big for him so he's just kept it in the box. Gonna take a little punt and say that we would pay 200 pounds for that. A full set. Box, out of box. Obviously the watch, both swing tags, services, obviously the paper, the wallet, calendars, two booklets, and then the original purchase receipt. Because this was sort of the unwanted, the ugly duckling, it's rarer and it's now more in demand. Okay, Harry, first deal of the day today, we've done a part exchange. We've taken three watches and the guy's actually purchased a Patek Aquanaut, the orange, um, and he's given us three watches as part exchange and a little bit of change on top. And I'll show you them. So the first one is a rose gold sky dweller with the rhodium dial. Nice piece. Lovely watch. We've actually got quite a few of these in stock, but we've got it at a good price. And we also part exchanged the rose gold Daytona with a black dial. Obviously now recently discontinued. And finally, a sea dweller. He actually never wore this watch, the deep sea. James Cameron, he felt like the watch was a little bit too big for him, so he's just kept it in the box. It's unworn, the James Cameron deep sea. So yeah, so we took the three watches. So how much is the Aquanaut sold for? So the Aquanaut sold for 100K ballpark, just mm -hmm. under 100,000. Mm -hmm. Took these three watches in part exchange and a little bit of change on top. So guys, today in front of me, I've got six pieces that I've grabbed out the safe. They are all ever rose gold. A lot of different price points and obviously a lot of different configurations. So let me run through them. Starting off, we have a 228235. This is an ever rose gold dated 40. Obviously 40 mil case, full presidential rose gold bracelet. This one comes with the chocolate Roman numeral dial. Obviously you've got the date at the top, date wheel. To my left, I've got something special. So on my left, I've got a chocolate dial with the baguette markers, but it's also got the factory RBR bezel. So the price comparison between these two, so if you're looking to get a plain piece with no diamonds, you're looking around 40,000. And on my left, you at an RBR fully iced out with the factory diamond bezel and the diamond dial, you're looking around 12,000 pounds more. I've also got no diamonds, very popular, all of Day 40. So obviously this has been massively hyped up since it's released in 2016. This is called the Anniversary Dial. The All of, it's always been the hottest dial. So this is currently retailing for around 45,000 in our boutique. So again, a little price comparison, you're paying around 5,000 pounds more for the All of, as opposed to the chocolate, which I think actually makes the chocolate very good value. You are just kind of paying for hype. I think the chocolate looks really good, but I also do like the olive, but they've always carried a massive premium as opposed to the other dials. And then moving on, we have two Daytonas. So on my right, we have a 116505 with a black dial. And then on my left, we have the freshly discontinued chocolate dial. This is a 116515. This is on the Oyster Flex strap. So two pretty similar watches. If you're gonna go for comfort and more everyday use, you're obviously gonna go for something like this. Very comfortable, very durable on the Oyster Flex strap. And then on the right, and maybe some more special occasion piece. So this is a full Everose gold bracelet. So the model as a whole, after all the Daytonas, if you didn't know, got all discontinued. All now new reference pieces with new upgraded movements. So this is the hottest dial you could get beforehand. Obviously it got discontinued. This is the chocolate dial. So the price comparison between a full rose gold bracelet and an oyster flex with the chocolate dial actually isn't too much. So currently this is up for 42,500, so this is the full rose gold bracelet Daytona 116505. And then the Oyster Flex strap is actually only 5,000 pounds less. So for 5,000 pounds less, you're getting a rubber strap Oyster Flex model because of the dial. So the dial is carrying a two to three K premium over other models with say a plain black dial or a white dial, ivory dial. And you'll see the main difference is actually the bezel. So on the Oyster Flex, you'll only get a black ceramic bezel and then on the full ever rose, you'll obviously only get the full rose gold bezel. So that's the main differences between the two. And then last but not least, we have a 326935 Rhodium Sky Dweller. This is also technically discontinued because they did bring out a new upgraded movement for this model of Sky Dweller and all Sky Dwellers across the range. This again, I believe, is, I think anyway, is very good value because 
If you're looking at a chocolate piece, you're looking about five to seven thousand pounds more than the rhodium. But for me, with the Ever Rose bracelet and full rose gold, I actually prefer the grey. So this breaks up the contrast really nicely. And this is in stock today for £41,000. This is a 2023 model. So one of the last of the last before it did technically get discontinued. So all six of these watches are actually in store. They have came to us in the past week or so. So they are all available on our, our website. So if you are looking to do a deal, par X, up or down, we are happy to help. And they are all in store, ready for collection or delivery. And last but not least, if you are looking for the best deals possible, we have actually set up a WhatsApp group. So it's called the Watch Trade Exclusive Deals. What you'll do is if you scan the QR code here, or if you go in the description, you click the link, it'll essentially just take you to WhatsApp. It'll join our broadcast group. So every day we're posting special, special deals. So only to our followers off Instagram and YouTube, you're gonna get many deals every single day, different watches from Tudor, Omega, Rolex, AP, Batek. You might see a watch on the website that you've been looking at for a few days. You might see it pop up the next day at a massively discounted price. So. Yeah, it's definitely worth joining if you're looking to get your first piece or you're looking to upgrade. There's a lot of special deals in that group, so join the link in the description. It's that time of the week again. It's that time of the week again. I want to see me two double Ds, two double deals of the week. We have two Tudors this week. We did two Amigas last week and the both did actually sell. Didn't they, Josh? You sold them. One out today. Fresh trim, fresh deal of the week. We've got... <laughs> The Tudor. So what, this is a Black Bay Chrono? It's a bit like the, it's a Tudor version I would say of the Daytona, isn't it? That's correct. They do do it in the black and they do do it in the white. So this one is the black, it's 2021. It, the reference is 793-60N. It's a 2021, it's 4450 on our website. From Tudor, a 4550. What I want to do this one for. It's on our website for 4450. But again, for the YouTube deal of the week, it's 2021, brand new. Again, comes with everything, swing tag, warranty card, booklets, etc. Every single thing with it. I was going to say four. Harry said lower. Should we say three eight? I think we do better. You've got to look after the YouTube viewers, Jack. Come on. Right, for the YouTube viewers, with the fresh trim, 3650 on that one. 3650. Do quote YouTube again and the stock number which is 3090. We've also got the Tudor Harrods. Great watch, we've sold a lot of these. This one's a 2019. Again, full set. List price on this is £3,370. Getting good. On the website for 3450. The Harrods edition, 2019. We can do this one for 2950 Again, it is like brand new condition. No marks. I would say it's as new. The Harrods does also come with the NATO strap, so you can change it up. You can have two watches and one there. And it does actually come with this watch, so it's got the two straps, the Tudor Harrods. Okay, Harry, three new arrivals that have just come in this morning. We have one of the white gold Daytona, 116509, with the blue dial, the discontinued watch. It's a Unworn condition, brand new, I believe it's 2022. And also two of the 41 mil Submariners and Precious Metals. We have both, we have the white gold, aka the, the blueberry, and also the yellow gold. So the both in brand new condition. We retail the white gold for a little bit underneath the RRP. Something there that's probably gonna sell for around 33K, where the list prices is ballpark 35. And the yellow gold version trades for a little bit above RRP. The list is around 33 and we sell for around 36 to 37. So it's interesting, so Rolex actually charge a little bit more for white gold than they do for yellow. They do. At, at the list price. Yeah. But they sell the other way around on the grey market. Yeah, it's, it's just basically supply and demand. So this one I would probably say is a little bit more sought after mm -hmm. um, than the demand for the white gold one. So this one sells a little bit underneath RRP. Which one do you see more of in the grey market? It's normally the yellow. More of the no, yellow. Normally the yellow. So if you get offered the yellow gold one from your local AD, it's probably something that you might want to pick up. Mm -hmm. um, if you get offered the white gold one, just be cautious and just be aware that if you are potentially looking to sell it on, at some point you are going to take a little bit of a hit. So moving and on that if, Daytona. Yeah, and if you're lucky enough to pick up one of these at least, 
Obviously, they've now recently skyrocketed because the watch has been discontinued, and this can sell for anywhere between forty to fifty thousand, depending right. on age and condition. Okay, so that's one one of the later ones being a twenty-two. Is a late registered a late month twenty twenty-two, and the watch was discontinued in in March twenty-three. Do you know how much you're going to be retailing that for? Yeah, we'll sell this watch for around 47,000. 47K. Mm. So given that it is essentially the brother of the John Mayer, the golden green, it's quite a bit less. Quite a bit but less. In my opinion, I don't think it's any less pretty to look at. Yeah, so you're probably talking best part of, well, 30K plus in mm. difference in value between this and the yellow gold version with the green dial. And um, again, ironically, that would have actually cost a little bit more RRP. It would have, it would have done, yeah. So we'll ask you guys what you think. Would you go with the blue or would you go with the green? So it's a 36mm Explorer 1 and it's from 2000. It's a 14270. So watch that you wear. Uh, no, it was, it was my father's. I'm always very conscious of the fact I'm always doing something that's a bit rough and tumble. And you don't do your garden? Yes. No. No, they're sturdy watches the Explorer though. It's a uh... So had we made you an offer by email then or did I give you a figure over the phone? Give me a figure over the phone. Well you said it'd be about four thousand. So I'm just gonna pop this in here and do a little bit of research if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It's a good example, it's in good condition and it has absolutely everything with it. So yeah. I currently have a twenty one, a twenty two and a twenty three. Yeah. But this being at a different price point appeals to different people. People would prefer a two thousand a year two thousand watch anyway. It's been serviced in two thousand and eleven. Could be an ideal date for somebody's yes. birthday. Yeah. It's even got the original purchase receipt. So it was bought in two thousand. So this is this one it was brand new and it was one thousand six hundred and sixty pounds. Eighth of June two thousand. Yeah, so you've got two options with it. We can buy it outright for 4000 or if you allow us to sell the watch on your behalf, I think we will return at least £500 more, and I think it's a watch that will sell yeah, quick yeah, enough. So, well, I mean, what, what, what do you prefer to do? I mean, well, obviously, if it's going to be £500 more, I'll, yeah. It, we'll always offer that service because obviously it then means we can we can buy more watches but I, th I think that it's your choice really we'll honour you the 4,000 say next week or the week after if you just wanted your 4,000 out of it mm -hmm. we wouldn't then come back and say well now we're only going to give you 3,800 so your 4,000 offer always stands on the table yeah, right. if we can we'll try for 30 days and if it doesn't sell for the return price of 4,500 or within a week two weeks three weeks if your circumstances change we can send you the 4,000 yeah. within that week oh it's worth I mean, I'm not panicking for the fourth unless you specifically had a purpose for the funds now no. then it makes sense uh, you get more that way yeah okay Any happy with that? We'll do that we'll do that we'll do okay. that right. so Harry it's what we would call a full set so box out of box obviously the watch with full links has the old style clasp with the the links mm -hmm. sort of cut out on the, the back of the clasp both swing tags services in the past obviously the paper the wallet calendars two booklets and then the original purchase receipt and we know that it's been serviced at least once from rolex twice so. Twice. Twice, yeah. You can tell that it's been worn, but it's, it's in very good condition. Now, I don't think we would just get it polished for the sake of it. I think we would give the person that's buying it the choice. So that's actually the receipt for the service in 2008. That was £200 then. Alright then guys, today I've got the Amiga Speedmaster 57. This is a heritage model, it's a nod back to the 1957 Amiga Speedmasters of the time. And the styling of this is really what caught my eye. John took this watch in this week and I hadn't seen one before so I thought I'd do a little bit of research and have a chat about it. So this one is a stainless steel watch, it's a 40.5mm case which is a great size, it's slightly smaller than the Speedmaster Moon watch. So this will look really good on most people's wrists. Um, it's a 13 millimeter thick case as well, so it's not too thick. Some of that thickness actually comes from the sapphire crystal, um, which protrudes above the bezel. It also has a sapphire case back as well, where you can see the movement. The movement in this, it's a 9906. It's a 60 hour power reserve, and it's actually a Metas certified master chronometer. So this is a- It tells the time, Harry. It tells the time. Apparently it tells the time. So 
that's uh, definitely a positive for that movement. It's a chronograph watch, but it has two subdials in it. So this, the Speedmaster Moon Watch has three subdials. This one actually has an hours counter, so it counts 12 hours, and it also has a minute counter at the nine o'clock position. It's got a date at the six o'clock position, which is nice for you guys who like the symmetrical look on a watch. So this is the blue dialed version. It also comes with a green dial. You can also get it with a burgundy dial and then also a sandwich dial, which is a matte black and it's got like a faux patina. This watch is 8,700 pounds in the UK if you buy it directly from Amiga. However, this actually will be available in Watch Trader slightly under the list price. So it's a watch that you can't just walk in and, and pick up in the boutique. I haven't seen them around. This is actually a waitlist product on the website at the minute if you have a little look. Some of the other features that I really like about this, I think the bracelet is really, really smart. So this bracelet is very thin. I have a Seamaster 300 here for comparison and this has not only a straight bracelet, but it's quite a thick bracelet. The new bracelet on the Speedmasters, it's a new design for the most recent reference and it's much thinner and has a taper. This one, the links are actually thinner again. It's also tapered and it has brushed center links and polished outer links, which is the opposite way around to say a Rolex Oyster bracelet. When you come into the clasp here, it also has uh, a micro adjustment, which is really nice to see on Amiga watches coming through, uh, the Speedmaster range that is. What do you think of the Amiga Speedmaster 57? Have you seen any out in the wild yet? And if you're gonna go for one, which color would you go for? The green, the blue, the burgundy? Let us know down in the comments. Take a look on the website if you're interested in this watch. Okay, Harry, so we're just gonna discuss a part exchange deal that we're dealing with this morning. The clients actually sent her watch up to us today. It's a lady client, so she is part exchanging a yellow gold Daytona. And um, we've actually just took it apart and removed the clasp because the clasp has a little bit of damage. The watch is also not in the best condition, so it's gonna have to go to our workshop and have some TLC basically. But really, it's an it's a nice actual watch. So it's reference 116528 with the factory MOP dial. Now these dials really, really do pop in the sunlight, so it's a really good watch for the summer. And um, it's probably gonna take us maybe one to two weeks to have it retail ready. So look out for it on our site in a couple of weeks. So how the deal actually work this watch is without papers but it's going to be very well priced so it'll be priced to sell in for a full yellow gold watch with the mop dial it's, it's going to be a little bit of a bargain for somebody who isn't too fussed about um, papers we'll have a box and we'll have our warranty and it'll be serviced so can you get a mother of pearl with batten no no just no. with diamond yeah okay right got you got you and what's the watch that she's going to be yeah with? so she is taking from us the the client in question she's gone with the the 40 mil rose gold olive dial 228238 and, and rose gold so she's gone from yellow to rose i think it's probably a case of where she's seen maybe a friend or somebody on social media a lot of the times wearing that watch and mm -hmm. she just fancies a change so she's she's traded up from this to this with a little bit of change and this one's going to be we're going to remove some links i have a bracelet size i know what size wrist she is and um, i'll remove some links i'll leave them in the box i'll package it up and she'll receive this tomorrow how much is is a green dial day date going for these days so the green dial day date is going ballpark between 40 to 45k right okay. and something like this will go low 30s all right so a little bit of a trade up there for her. So we've got retired police officers. So what I've just said here is obviously the youngsters find it quite amusing because when I get a watch, I don't open the box. I look at the paperwork because I'm looking for the facts and I'm looking for the, the little bit of what it is and looking a bit of the history. So I've just opened that up, Harry, and it is Amiga High Precision, which I don't know whether it's for this watch yet, but it has a little sales sticker on from a company called Pollock Jewelers, which is 114 Main Street, Bangor, which is in, um, Wales. Is in Wales. Yeah, you know, I told an interesting story about when my dad passed his test he bought a ford anglia in 1960 something and decided he's to take his parents and my mum to wales in a ford anglia it's like it's like probably now kayaking <coughs> across the channel my parents so, went to london knowing the ford anglia for that their honeymoon 
<laughs> wow, wow, it's just incredible. So this watch, high precision, I don't think it is, but it is a 1950s, 1960s gold. So you're asking, does it have a value? This type of thing is what would be classed now as more of a cocktail watch. Right. Nobody wears. I've put a vintage watch on today because we're going to do a little bit of filming. This in today's is tiny. I love it. I think it's nice. If I was to show that to my sister, she would say, are you kidding me? It's just dated. It's for me, I don't scrap watches, but it's going to be just worth what the metal content is. Yes. So I would say you're looking at um, maximum a couple of hundred pounds. Right. So if it has any sentiment to you, no. So the value's in the gold? Value's in the gold. It's a manual wind. Right. So that's what would be a precision. I'm curious to the high precision on the box. So, no so we're going to find out. I'm going to take a little punt and say that we would pay £200 for that. I think the gold content will be a little bit less when we take the movement out. I'm quite taken by the box. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably... So 200 quid for the box and nothing for, for the watch. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. You fine with that? Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you something as well? Yeah. I've got a Rolex which I bought new mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. I'm not looking to sell it. Couldn't value. So yeah, yeah. I've got L the box, I've got the stickers, I've got yeah. everything else. So came out. Got let me, so it is a 14060. The bezel is like new. Mm -hmm. It has obviously got surface scratches on. It's in very, very good condition. Do you wear it every day? No. Well, wow. you know that 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 is the signal when you hold a, a sports watch like this, whether it yeah, hangs down. Yeah. I am gonna say that this probably two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. Nine, nine, yeah. There you go. Nine it, Something like this, we would pay circa six thousand pounds. Watch market's dropped a little bit. Twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two, this would have sold for about eight thousand pounds. Supply and demand. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. still can't get them. Still a um, for it, but yeah, yeah, this is a discontinued. This is a non ceramic. I prefer the non ceramic. The younger members of the team wouldn't entertain a yeah. non. -ceramic. Can I ask Kenya? So is that the last model before it went ceramic? This is the last model. And so it's, I know it's. It's got a holes case though on the lugs so they didn't close the holes until it went ceramic do you know what it is this is you know harry's learning all the time he's teaching me things i didn't look at the holes on the case mm -hmm. i looked at the rehout on the bezel right so, so it's got it's an engraved a, so it's an old case mm -hmm. with a new so it's a li this yeah, is a little bit of a rarity it's the very it? last of the old model because it's easier to lead when i got into the watch game which was 30 years ago Everybody wanted a Submariner watch, but the one with the date is the one that everybody wanted. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a little bit of a snippet for you because I believe this and, it, and it's become, because this was sort of the unwanted, the ugly duckling, mm -hmm. it's rarer and it's now more Appreciate in demand. It. If you get a watch person, we'll now say non-date sub. So they've had a little bit of a research. I can remember Goldsmiths, 25 years ago, ran me up and said, we've got a guy, he's one of our best customers. He's a sea captain. He comes in, he takes a watch. He, he doesn't keep any boxes and papers. He's had this watch about six months. Would you buy it? I says, oh, what am I going to do with that? Please, please. And I paid 500 quid for the watch. And I sold it to my friend's dad. And to be perfectly honest, I think he felt a bit sorry for us because I kept saying, oh, I can't sell this watch. I can't sell this watch. It's now the watch connoisseur. It's their choice. Yeah. It's because it's yeah. a little bit rarer. Yeah. Oh, and it's in beautiful condition. Yeah. That yeah. bezel is like new when it came yeah. out of the factory. It hasn't, and, it hasn't been turned. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, so just as well yeah. I didn't turn it because obviously no, if I was no, buying no, it, no. I would turn it. But yeah, lovely watch. Obviously increased in value since you bought it. If you ever want to part with it, give us a shout. Of course.